walk by. And there you go. I purchased this dragon from Home Depot. It's animated and it also hooks up to your fog machine. Comes out of that tube right there. His eyes light up and he has one little LED in there, right there. Red LED. And uh, has a little motion sensor right there on his nose. I'm gonna be placing him on my roof, so this won't do me any good. I need to get a motion sensor a little bit closer to the sidewalk. And I wanted to automate the fog machine to go off at the same time when it senses motion. So doing some research, I found uh, a video from the Maker's Cave, how he uh, talked about these Great little guys here. This is a um, it's a five volt relay module, and this is a um, motion sensor, a five volt motion sensor, and um, he showed how you can hook up your props as long as your props have this uh, here this uh, try me button with this guy right here it'll on the dragon he goes right there and then on a fog machine as long as your fog machine which they do they all have these buttons on them and you, I just took these four screws off opened up the case and I uh, soldered uh, one on each end of the switch and just came out with this cord so I can hook it up to the relay so basically the relay is mounted I got these um, these little boxes here from Amazon, and uh, this is uh, the idea from the Maker's Cave. And uh, basically, you just mount it onto the bottom lid here, and then you just go ahead and take the top lid, cut a little notches out for the wires on each side, and you snap it down. So how it works is this side of the relay is your power. And it's five volts, so I just came out to one of these, and I just got this little five volt, 12, 120 to five volt module off of Amazon. Uh, you can also use any uh, mobile phone charger. I'd say the majority of them all use five volts. Uh, any USB, anything that has a USB coming out of it is pretty much gonna be five volts. You can check that out. Probably have a bunch of little chargers hanging around your house, and you can convert them. And then on the uh, and then from here, this is going to be the wires that are going to go to the motion sensor, which are going to be these three pins right here. And you have positive, signal, negative on on your pins right here. And so what I did on the uh, motion sensor, I got this box here. It's a waterproof box because I'm going to have it sitting outside and I painted it white because my house is white so I uh, just drilled a hole to put the sensor around it then I filled it with um, hot glue around to keep water from getting inside I drilled a hole on the side to run my wires inside and connect it to those three pins and then I also on the bottom drilled two holes you can see those are the adjustments right there there's little adjustments you can adjust the distance and how long you want the trigger I think it's anywhere from three seconds to five minutes I think but uh, it'll explain that to you um, on, on the uh, product but anyways so this is what I did and then uh, to mount it to my house I um, I screwed a, a piece of metal right here on the back and what I'm gonna do is uh, screw this washer and, and screw to the underneath my rain gutter with one of these really strong magnets on here. Then all I have to do is just take this box once it's all put together 
and just uh, stick it to this to the to that with to the magnet so so basically how it works is um, your 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 motion sensor is here it feeds into this side of the um, of the relay you have your um, power and you have your signal normally open or normally closed there's on this side you have your trigger so this this one's coming out it's going to go to the tri me port on the on the dragon which is right there and then here's the other end of the this is going to be the male end of the um, fog machine which is right here and that will so basically now when somebody walks by this and triggers it it will send a signal over to trigger to make sure to trigger the, the smoke machine i have it running for 10 seconds and run the animation of the dragon so once i get it all set up and hooked up i will show you how it works i wanted to link my fog machine to my home depot dragon motion detector so they both go off at the same time so this is what i did for the fog machine if your fog machine has one of these buttons here it's the same thing as like a try me button like this on the dragon so all you need is a relay and a motion detector so to do that you're just going to remove these four screws from the back here and open this up here and you can see I soldered two wires right there to a uh, connector to a JST connector and uh, then I just put some hot glue on the inside and the outside to keep the um, wire from being yanked out by accident so here is a breakdown of the 5 volt relay so you have on this side you have the switch part uh, the trigger and you see here it has an no that stands for normally open you have a com for common and then you have an nc get this to focus in here um nc for normally closed most switches are going to be normally open meaning you when you push the switch or you push the try me button then you're closing it so um I use the common and a normally open for both for the try me port and my fog machine and uh, they work great so so you want to come out of here to go uh, you're going to run four wires two going to your uh, prop and another two that are going to go to your switch of your fog machine if you want to run both at the same time if you're only just running one prop, then obviously just run one, uh, two wires, one from the normally open right over here, and then one from the common, uh, which is right here. And then on this side, you're gonna hook up your five volt power supply. And uh, once again, this could be any USB charger. Those put out five volts. Uh, Amazon sells some uh, adapters uh, pretty inexpensively. Uh, so you're just going to put your DC in uh, positive here, DC negative here, it says it right on there. These are screw terminals, you just loosen them and you put your wire in there. And then this where it says in, that's the trigger for the motion sensor. So uh, here you're going to run your positive and negative from the motion sensor and the trigger wire, the signal wire is going to go here, which is the middle pin. So the outer left pin is your positive on your motion sensor. Your outer right pin is your negative. It's going to go here. And the center pin is going to go here. So you're going to run your, your three wires from your motion sensor here and also positive and negative for your uh, five volt power supply. So that's all it takes to, to uh, wire this, uh, this uh, relay up. So this is the box I used for the um, 5 volt relay. I got this idea from uh, the Maker's Cave. 
uh, it works out great. Uh, so basically you just um, put some tape on the box and you mark the holes where the these four holes here, drill them. You put a screw in the, through there with a nut in between to hold this, to hold it in right there. And then you just go ahead and just slide this on. And like, the, like he suggested, this is so shallow that it will, uh, it will not move at all inside there once this is snapped on there because you can't get a nut in here because of these, uh, there's no, there's no space for a nut. And then you just take these, uh, cut a little notch here on both sides to, to, uh, allow for these wires to go in and you snap it down and you are good to go. So here's a breakdown of the motion sensor. So here's the front. This part here senses all your motion. Uh, on the side here, you have these two adjustment screws. Uh, this guy, this side right here is your delay. And uh, depending which way you turn it, it's anywhere from uh, three seconds to five minutes. This here is your sensitivity on uh, distance so it can go anywhere from I believe three meters to seven meters uh, depending on which way you turn it then over here you have these three pins here get this thing spun around so the far left pin this one here is your positive this middle pin is your signal or trigger wire and then your far right pin is going to be your negative so to make it easier um, I got these uh, DuPont cables, uh, you can get them on Amazon really cheap and they come in all kinds of variety packs. This particular one has female on one side and uh, male on the other side. So what I did is I just uh, peeled off three of these wires and made note of which one, which color is going to be my positive, which color is going to be my signal wire and which one's going to be my negative. And then I just cut the ends off here and I just connected them together with these uh, solderless um, heat shrink uh, tubing. These things are great. So you just put your two wires in there, you hit them with your heat gun, the solder solders them together, and then these two red uh, ends here have a glue in them that seals them up really nice. And that is the breakdown of the motion sensor. This is the box I used to mount my motion sensor in. It's a uh, waterproof box because I'm going to have it sitting outside. So here it is done. I painted it white because my uh, trim on my house is white and it's going to be sitting right underneath my rain gutter. And uh, what I did is I, I screwed a piece of metal on the back of it and how I'm going to mount it is I got this uh, screw with a washer painted it white. I got one of these really strong magnets that just sticks on there. I'm going to screw that in the under my rain gutter so during the uh, non-holidays the magnet will be gone and you'll just see this little bit of white washer and screw and then uh, then uh, all I have to do is just stick the box it'll just stick right to that magnet really strong magnet so basically what I did was I drilled a it's a 15 16 inch hole here and then the um, this guy has these tiny little holes on on the sides so I couldn't find screws small enough so I just use these these uh, 1 16th cotter pins and then I bent them I bent I bent one of them on each side one there and there and I and I put a dab of hot glue on the ends to keep them from spinning around and then I also put hot glue on both sides if you can see in there uh, to kind of keep water and stuff from coming in there then I drilled a hole on the side to run my wire in and uh, to connect to those three pins with, um, with those uh, DuPont connectors. And I used these, uh, these um, solder, solder uh, heat shrink sleeves, which is awesome. They're these guys right here. Uh, you just hit them, heat them up with your heat gun and it actually solders the wires together. These two red Parts here are uh, like a waterproof glue, um, so it just seals everything up really nice in there. So, and then I also put some hot glue on the on both sides. Uh, number one to keep uh, water from going in, and to keep the, this from being tugged accidentally and yanking the wires out of there. 
And then on the bottom, since it's going to be sitting this way, um, I drilled these two holes and I don't have to worry about water getting in because it's going to be sitting this way and the water will just run down uh, because I, I needed access to these, um, let's turn this around here, to these adjustment screws here. Um, so the one on the left is for, um, oh gosh, I forgot. I think the one on the left is delay. Yes, the one on the left is delay and the one on the right is distance and sensitivity. So I can just reach in there with a screwdriver, um, a little little mini screwdriver and I'd make those adjustments if, if need be. And then it has this, um, this rubber ring all the way around and it just seals it all together really nice.